The next Battle Blade update is August 6th, 9 a.m. And this is everything you need to know. In Capture the Flag, moving the flag to the safe zone will no longer teleport it back to the enemy base, but will instead teleport it right next to you at the safe zone border. There was a bug for when the flag carrier got killed while swimming, the players couldn't recapture it, so that's been fixed. Bringing an enemy flag back to base will give you more XP now. In addition, killing an enemy flag carrier will also give you more XP. The APC is getting reworked for when you fire it. The resupply cooldown is going to reset to 60 seconds to avoid the player supplying and firing at the same time. They're adding a new boat called the RCB90, which is pretty much a big ass attack boat. Players that are not the medic class can now heal themselves with bandages. So now players have a choice between using their bandages to stop themselves from bleeding or to gain 40 health. Just keep in mind that the medic is still the only class that can heal other players. They fixed the detection for reviving players. For the turret slash minigun, the shots don't count for your bullets fired stats anymore. They also increased the damage for the little bird minigun from two to four. For weapons, when you added attachments, they used to not affect your speed, that's been fixed. Aim punch slash flinch will now exponentially scale down based on damage received. The way it used to be before is if you got shot in the leg with a pistol and if you got shot in the chest with a sniper rifle it would still give you the same amount of flinch. The engineer class will now get 2.5 times the XP from destroying vehicles. On your screen right now are all the values that you get from destroying a vehicle as an engineer compared to not being an engineer. When players bring their vehicles back to base to repair them, they're going to also be healed in the vehicle, so now the driver does not have to get out of the vehicle to heal up. They're unfortunately making a change where empty transport vehicles slash boat vehicles are no longer going to give points when you destroy them. However, at the same time, they're also going to change how much XP you get for destroying vehicles. For the transport vehicles, they must have an enemy inside them, and when you destroy them, you'll get 400 XP. When you destroy an APC, you'll get 800 XP, and for the APC, since it's not a transport vehicle technically, you can still shoot it without an enemy inside and get the 800 XP. The tank and the helicopter will give you 1600 XP, and just like the APC, you can destroy it without an enemy inside or not and still get the 1600 XP. They fixed the roadkill detection, so that means when you go to run over an enemy, it will actually kill them. Before, it was a hit or miss chance whether you killed someone, but it felt like most of the time it would not hit them. They're reworking the mine, the C4, and the claymore. Now when a player shoots at a mine, C4, or claymore, the shooter will take ownership for the explosion as if they own the mine, C4, or claymore. This means now when you shoot at a claymore, any kills that that claymore gets will now be your kills. Players now also can't place mines, C4s, or claymores underwater. They improved the interaction detection, meaning now you don't have to look exactly at a helicopter to get in. You could just be around it and it will allow you to get in. Lastly, they're adding barbed wire for the engineer and support class. Barbed wire can be placed down in choke points to stop players from going through. If a player goes through barbed wire, they'll take damage until they're out of the barbed wire. And there's three stages of barbed wire you can have. You can have it to where you can crouch under the barbed wire, crawl under the barbed wire, or just completely block it off. Be sure to like and subscribe for more battle bit updates. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you.